Good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. Students, it's that time, last weekend before we start school and we get back after it next week. Um, and so we are so excited here about J at JCPS about getting started for the school year. Uh, this morning I could see buses rolling throughout our neighborhoods practicing their routes. I know my daughter's not happy about uh, her bus stop 10 minutes earlier this year. So she's gonna have to get up 10 minutes earlier um, as she begins the eighth grade. Um, but uh, we definitely could see the buses rolling. We know they're practicing their routes. We know teachers are in professional development right now. Had the opportunity to speak today to all our nutrition workers who are going through PD. So everybody's fired up, getting ready to go. Parents, if you have questions about buses for next week, on Monday morning, we begin our transportation hotline, 485-RIDE, 485-R-I-D-E. Uh, call that number if you have any questions about buses or transportation to school. Uh, as always, you can check um, our bus finder, which is on our website, um, or go to our first day of school webpage, uh, which is linked to our website on uh, the JCPS website, and it'll give you all the information you need about the first day of school, or as always, call your school um, to ask important questions. We want to make sure you have all those questions answered before Wednesday morning. We're really excited about getting our students back, um, teachers, administrators, all of our employees. We really believe it's going to be the best year ever, and we are excited about the work that's about to take place. Um, we are a few days away from opening two new schools. I can't tell you how excited I am about the opportunity next Wednesday to, do, to visit the first day for two brand new schools. First, we have the W.E.B. Du Bois Academy, which will be opening up on Wednesday. Um, we had our first ever jacket and tie ceremony this past Monday night. It was really inspirational to see the young men walk in. Um, all 157 young men walk in in their brand new blazers provided by Rajon Rondo. Uh, Thanks, plays for the Los Angeles Lakers now. Thanks so much. Was a JCPS student for many years. Can't thank you enough uh, for the support for our students. But to see these young men walk in in their coat and tie so excited about school and see families so excited about this new school uh, was inspirational to me. It was a great moment for me to see the beginning of it. Can't wait to see them on Wednesday. Also on Wednesday, I'll be visiting our brand new ESL Newcomer Academy. Um, exciting that instead of four different locations for our students, we will have all of our ESL newcomer students in one location, in one school to provide the supports these students need to be successful. So two brand new schools opening up on Wednesday. What an exciting time it is for JCPS. Great things going on and um, uh, really excited about it. On this past Tuesday night, we had a board meeting where we passed um, the JCTA, Jefferson County Board of Education contract. Thanks to the collaboration of JCTA, um, we created a, a very positive contract for both um, teachers and for our schools to make sure uh, we do what's best for students, um, providing some um, real opportunities for attracting and retaining teachers, especially to um, our neediest schools, um, our most at-risk schools. We wanted to do that in this contract, but we were also making sure that we provided the resources uh, for our teachers all across this district um, and especially around professional development. So excited that we've got that uh, accomplished. That contract was signed for the next five years. Once again, we always look forward to working with our teachers for great culture and climate throughout our schools. Also on Tuesday night, we unveiled the um, Backpack of Success Skills platform. Can't tell you how excited we are about this platform that's gonna be taking place. Students, you will be coming to school next Wednesday and all 101,000 students will have access through Google um, for their online digital backpack. We will begin to collect evidence um, of our learning in our success skills, authentic um, evidence of our learning that will be stored in the backpack. At the end of this year, every fifth grader, eighth grader, and 12th grader will be providing a defense of their readiness uh, for their next transition. And this will be a public defense using this evidence of their learning. Such an exciting, um, new, innovative way to think about learning. We'll have 21,000 students doing that in JCPS. Can't wait to see it in action. We wanna start next Wednesday. Our teachers, our administrators are getting trained as I speak right now. Lots of excitement around this initiative. Finally, I wanna thank um, two of our partners 
uh, the Louisville Urban League and Metro United Way for their support of a community conversation that we had last night um, at the African American Heritage Center. I want to thank Sadiqa Reynolds and Teresa Reno Weber and their staffs. Uh, these are two great leaders in this community who support education um, and support JCPS and want the best for JCPS um, and asked me to be a part of a community conversation to talk about what we are doing in JCPS, some of the corrections we are making that have been identified, and um, some of the new big shifts we're making in this district. Um, we are taking on seven big shifts in this district. Um, I would say that are bigger than any that have been taken on in this district in many years. Um, we believe it is going to be transformational for this district, and there is no doubt in my mind that um, uh, in a few short years that, that we are going to be a model district that will be visited uh, by communities through, uh, throughout this nation to see what we've done successfully. So once again, thank you Louisville Urban League and Metro United Way for your support. It was a great evening last night. So as I wrap up once again, as I come, if, when I come to you next week, we'll be three days into the school year. So it's an exciting time, my favorite time of year. I can't wait to visit nine schools next Wednesday. Going to be one more than I did last year. It's going to be a busy first day. Can't wait to see students. I've been waiting for this all summer long. Rest up, students. Let's get ready to get back to work on Wednesday. Have a great weekend.